Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we have got one system from the user Emmanuel Garcia in Discord, so massive thank you to them for sending in their system. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and check out what they have uh, prepared for us today. So, so uh, oh that's the wrong button, no, we want an open, right. Okay, so if I go to my sims here, it is. it's called the Bradzen system. So let's go ahead and see what we have got here. Right. Okay. So where are we? Let's go to center. Okay. Right. So the Bradson system is a star system located 46 light years away from the solar system in the northeast of it. And 26 light years away from the redacted binary system as well. The star system and the star itself are about 540 million years old. Um, Bradzen itself is orbited by five planets, two of them being gas giants, two being terrestrials, and one being a mini Neptune. The first planet of this star system named Trevian is a gas giant about six Jupiter masses. So where are we? So that should be here. Okay, so I think that's where we were anyway. Yeah, okay, so that's the first of the planets. Um, and orbited by eight moons, the largest and possibly having liquid water on its surface. Um, okay. Let's have a little look. Aha, right. This is the first of the moons. And we have the second moon over here. There you go. Third moon over here. And he says something about the fourth moon. Um, so that is this one here. Possibly having water on its surface. Okay. Looks like it's got like a purple sort of water, I want to say. Assuming that's not the surface colour. But alright, okay. It's quite an interesting looking planet that is. Or moon, I should say. Cool. Right, then we've also got some more moons. Let's go ahead and just get them up on the menu here. So we can see uh, all, uh, all pretty funky colours, as we can see. So there we are. Okay. Right, so the second planet. This is Adrian over here. It's a gas giant, which is four Jupiter masses, and it's been orbited by five moons. The third... Uh, okay, so, yeah, there we go. Right. So, there are the moons. Alrighty. And then uh, we've got... Oh, whoa, that one's very strange. Whoa, what has happened there? What is this all about? Whoa. That looks pretty wild. Right, okay. So there are these two as well, the last ones. Nice. Okay. Moving on, we have got Lee Run over here. So, tell you about three Earth masses for some reason. It's the only planet in the system with no moons. So, it's just a lone, uh, lone wolf. So, the explanation behind the lack of moons is either they all got ejected or they uh, collided with either one of the four planets in the system. After they formed shortly, they were trying to settle their orbits and probably had gravitational interactions with each other. Or B, they all collided with each other and their places fell onto Loran. Okay. Or C, Loran once had rings and failed to become moons, which led to some pieces of the rings falling down to the surface or flying away. Okay. Next up, we have got uh, Bendorin over here. Mini Neptune, about five Earth masses. And it being orbited by seven moons. And finally, the fifth. Uh, I don't know. Right. I keep thinking it's the same paragraph for the same planet, but no, he's put multiple planets in the same paragraphs. Um, so here are some of the moons of this guy. And on all of the moons, we've got a nice green one there. There we go. Let's view all of those. Minor moons there. Okay. There we are. And then lastly, so one more, we've got Trent over here. It's also terrestrial and it being the Earth mass orbited by two moons. So this system actually has the gas planets closer to the star than um, the rocky planets, which is quite an interesting one. You don't see many systems that people make like that. So here they are. Whoa, that one is very, very fancy looking. Look at that. Right, okay. And there is the last one. That's all the planets for this star system. You can look them up all and close any specific details. Hopefully you like it. Yep. 
Um, and one more thing, the star itself is an A-type star, specifically a A6V or an A5V, and is 82% more massive than the sun. Okay, excellent. Very nice indeed. So there we go. So that does it for the Bradson system over here. Okay, so let's uh, line them all up. Very, very nice indeed there. Okay. So here is uh, those guys. Excellent. So i just got to say, this one, I really like the way that one looks with its different coloured oceans, but it still has obviously some green areas as well, which looks really, really cool. So yeah, I like it. Very, very nice indeed. This one looks like it must be made using the blank planet template as well. So he's customised that a bit, which is pretty cool. And out of the gas giants, I like the blue and the purple ones, I have to say, um, the most. This one here, this Trent object's quite cool. Now we're seeing it in the light properly. Really wild stuff indeed but yeah there we are so that does it for this system guys i really really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more help us on the journey to 27,000 subscribers and again a massive thank you to um, emmanuel garcia for sending this system in and yeah guys make sure um we hit that like button as well let's see if we can go for 50 likes on this video guys and with that all said and done i will see you in the next video goodbye